Gwen. This is so sad. Tissue out there. Oh, Jess. I'm so sorry. Seriously, love, if you listen to the song Dragon Eyes, it says everything that needs to be said about her. You can't help me. It's raw, like a chicken's head, you know? The pain grips you and makes you think about everything. It's the longest night of all. December of the soul. Jesus, dude, get the fuck out of the way. the best interview of my life. Thanks so much for coming on. For all you love this fans out there, it's time for a contest. Ladies and gents, you're listening to me. Just told me. Whoa, no, oh, you hear me? It's Amy? Oh god, you forgot my name? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Citizens of Vice City, now you've got the opportunity to win a part of me, my signature. I think I only give away parts of myself to people who have bought all our records. So you've got to answer this. On which album did Beast Fist appear? Was it A, Dogs on Heat, B, Fat Chicks All Day All Night, or C, Devil's Own Band? For the chance to win tons of love fist prizes, just answer the question. All you need to do is write the answer on a postcard and send it into the station. Jazz, before you go, will you please play us a song acoustic? Piss off! Acoustic songs are for sissies. Babe, seriously, do not crap my style. Look, I've got to save up the love for the big show. Babe, I love you. I really do. Friends for life, dancing to the fire and all that. Always good to me. You look after man for us, will you? Oh, I lost my lighter again. Love Fest! That was the Dreamy Jazz Torrent of Love Fest, who are appearing this week in Vice City as part of their world tour. Bring your lighters and a spare pair of panties. I know I will. We'll be right back on K-Chat after these messages. Thanks. What makes a real American? A cowboy hat, enjoying a fine T-bone steak, going to a baseball game, shooting a gun. Maybe it's the freedom to go into a poor country and tell them how to do things. Hey, <laughs> those are all great qualities. But one thing that makes a true patriot is the ability to choose an American car. When you buy an import, you take a hot meal off a hard-working American's table. There, there. This poor girl is going to starve to death just because you bought a cheaper, more efficient Maibatsu. Without gross symbols of excess, what will Americans have to look up to? Our great industries are threatened. Cars, pornography, armaments, and they need your help. So the next time you buy a car, a piece of adult literature, or a missile defense system, make sure you do the American thing. Oh, Max, we go everywhere together. Right, boy? At Pet Stuffers, we know there's nothing like a relationship between a man and his dog. Sometimes you just can't let go. Max, we didn't eat your food. That's the second week in a row. Max? When the unspeakable happens, just put your four-legged friend in the refrigerator or freezer. Then call Pet Stuffers. We'll be there within a week to pick him up, and in less than a month, he'll be back as good as new. Through an ancient Egyptian miracle process called taxidermy, you and your best friend will always be together. Yeah, that's a good dog. Pet Stuffers, when you just can't let go. And coming soon, grandparents forever. Yes, I have a doctorate. 
Teachers are homely women who make minimum wage to keep the teenage boys off the streets during the day. I am very intelligent, and I'd rather talk about that. I'm trying to sell my book. Okay. Now, it says here he's wanted to be a man so much, you dressed up like one. Well, that's a little crap, my dear. More misogynistic propaganda. I hate men. Can't bear them. I think they're a complete waste of time and space, quite frankly, and a disaster for the planet. Me too. I just got dumped. Oh, well, it is unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Oh, Look at you. God. You could be an attractive girl if you did some physical labor, cut your hair short, grew out your body hair, and wore boots, for example. You mustn't get sucked into their heteropatriarchy. But I like dating. Having someone buy you dinner is great. Well, we'll come back to you and your problems, accepting who you really are. Let's talk about me. Okay, so tell me about your book. You hate men a lot, and you dressed up like one, and now you've written a book about it. More or less. As I said, I'm very intelligent, so I don't expect you to understand, my dear. Get but out of the way! Simple. I've always been fascinated with the world of men. Revolted, of course, but fascinated. Now, as an academic, I can get paid to write a book about pretty much anything. Yeah. As long as I give it a complicated title. Are you with me, gorgeous? Ooh. Oh, God, I'm not taking you to the beach. It helps me think. No! Okay, okay, sorry. Don't be so weird. God, everywhere I go, just like the university won't let me display my beautiful and sensual woodcuts in the student comments. It makes me so angry! Where was I? You were talking about yourself? Oh, of course. The ego is a dangerous thing, especially in my case. I'm a Jungian. Anyway, so what I did was dress up like a man and enter into the man world. I can tell you it was more horrifying than I imagined. What did you do? Well, the first chapter, I was a roofer. These sexists spent all day on a roof talking about us, Amy. I was expected to sit around and talk about what I had done to women. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So what's the name of your book? Yes, as mentioned hitherto, my book has a very, very obtuse title. Being and Singing. From Freud to the Building Sites, A Woman's Journey into the Male Psyche. Huh? What? I'll admit it's not very catchy, but academia is not about getting to the point. It's about exploration. Okay. Wow, I'm learning a lot today. Yeah. So I entered the world of men, in disguise, of course. I was dressed like a man. Okay, and you haven't changed back. What? What did you say? You're still dressed like a man. No, I'm not. These are my normal clothes. Amy, for God's sake, don't fall prey to the patriarchy's evil fashion schemes! Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I learned a lot when I was a man. Did you know, for example, that during my time as a steel worker, it's right. where I learned that men sometimes speak crudely about women when they are out of earshot? I was horrified. Or that men regard some women, like you, Amy, as mere sex toys. Oh, 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 or that men actually find oh, some women oh, interesting. It's appalling. And they run the world, my pretty. Oh, yes, they run the world. They do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home and bake cookies. Well, screw that. Yes, I agree. Good. Don't bake a cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking Ooh. tray instead. He's a brainless dolt. He's a man. Men enjoy looking at pictures of naked women. It's called pornography. It's sick and foul. I'm giving a talk about it this weekend at the Women's Center. That's women with a Y. Uh, I think you spelled it wrong. Are you a woman? Three of the five letters that make up your description are M A N. You're too dependent on men, Amy. That's why I don't call myself a woman, Amy. Um, okay. I bet this radio station.